Hello and welcome to another short drawing lesson. This week I'm going to talk a bit about fountain pens again, but alternatives to typical fountain pens. So these are the more traditional sort and you can get ones with gold nibs that glide beautifully and um, maybe these types of nibs, they're a bit finer, that have a bit of flex in them, um, which are lovely to use for drawing. But there are some interesting alternatives that are worth having a look at. So the first of those is actually a pen that's made for calligraphy rather than drawing. Um, these are Pilot Parallel pens and um, yeah, as I say, they're made for, for writing really, because you can get lovely italic script. But actually as a drawing pen they're really interesting too because you get this thick and thin line made by um, the, the nib, which is very broad in one direction and very thin in the other. So you get this interesting marks that you make. If I can just get this to show you close up, you can just see it's got a very broad, flat nib. And these come in various widths. This is a 1.5mm. They sometimes come in a set with three of them. This is the broadest one. It's 3.8mm, which is probably too wide for, for drawing unless you're working really big. And they come with packs of coloured cartridges, but you can refill those cartridges using a... Um, a syringe or something, you can just fill your own in ink in there. So I've got some permanent black ink in there, some platinum carbon ink. So that's a really interesting tool to draw with. The next one I've got, um, so this is an Ackerman pen and these are made in, um, in America I think, and they're made to accept dip pen nibs. So at the moment the nib that's in there is a what they call a sketch nib. Which is nice, it's, it's fairly firm, um, but it does have a small amount of flex, so if you press a bit harder you get broader lines. It glides nicely, which is unusual for a, a dip pen nib, they're often quite scratchy. Um, and it's made of this kind of copper material, which uh, stops it from oxidising when you're not using it. So, as I say, it's a dip, it will accept different nibs, so you can use things like these browser rose nibs which are very flexible, just the tiniest amount of pressure allows it to, the tines to split, which will give you a very broad range of thicknesses. But as I say, these will oxidise if you leave them in the pen, even overnight. You see this black here. So that's the oxidising there. And that will have happened inside the, the split in the nib as well, which is, and that will stop them working eventually if it's too oxidised too. If you're using those kinds of nibs, um, you do really need to take them out and clean them, clean and dry them after use. Um, so they're less practical in a way than, than these ones, which uh, you can just leave in and they'll be all right. Uh, I'd say the other downside maybe with these types of pens is that they have a very rich feed, which is good because you can even put paint in these things, but it does make them maybe a bit more prone to leaking. So if it's in your pocket or in a bag knocking around as you're traveling, um, that could lead to you having some accidents. <laughs> so that, but that's the Ackerman. Uh, and that's with a sketch nib. They're very well, reasonably priced as well, I'd say. Um, my final choice is one of these, which I've probably shown you before. It's a Duke 209 Fude nibbed pen. Um, bit of a mouthful. I don't know how, if that's how you pronounce it. The Fude nib. I can get this close and focus. Um, it looks like a normal fountain pen nib until you turn it to the side and you can see it's, it's like it's been dropped on the end. So it's bent over. And that means that as you're drawing, you can get a huge amount of variety of thickness in your line by altering the angle. So if you hold it quite vertically, you get a fine line. If you hold it very shallow, you get a really thick line. And it's got great flow, really nice. I find that it's still my favourite pen at the moment for sketching with, just because it's so easy. It's like having two pens in your hand at the same time, basically. So really uh, well priced and worth looking out for. If you prefer something even broader, there's, there's a Sailor pen, which also has this Fude nib, but it's a, a broader model still. Um, so I hope you found that interesting. Three fun pens to try for try out for sketching, see which one suits your style best. Uh, let me know in the comments which you like, and if there's some that you've tried that I haven't discovered yet, 
that'd be, I'd love to hear about those and uh, keep sketching and see you again soon.